Hey everybody, it's Jennifer with the Southwest Financial Center. I know it's been a while since I did a video. Um, today just kind of seemed like the perfect day. Tomorrow, August 9th, 2017, there are going to be a lot of new laws that are going to go into effect for Arizona. Um, if you've seen the news stories, there's hundreds of new laws that have been set in place for Arizona this year. Some of the big ones that are going to come into play that I think people may be interested in to know about right now. Um, one being the hot car law, as some people are calling it. What this is, is this is to deal with the issue of people taking up on themselves to help a child or an animal that is left in a hot car. This is a really hot topic right now, um, especially we've seen lately, unfortunately, um, more deaths for children and animals left in situations like this. Prior, I don't think there was a lot of times that people were necessarily held back from taking action, but they could face civil lawsuits um, after doing something such as breaking a window to get a child or an animal out. This law is going to protect that. So there are definitely certain steps that you need to take when um, dealing with a situation like this. The first one being that you need to use what they call good faith, that there's true danger to the child or animal. Obviously, if it's 100 degrees outside, 120 as it seems to get around here, they're definitely in danger. So you want to look at that. Two, you need to call 911 or animal control, depending on if it's a person or animal, um, or you can call 911 either way. This is going to alert the authorities that there's an issue and get someone headed out there. At that point, you need to check to see if the doors are locked. They're, if they're not locked, then just open the door and get the child or animal out. If they are locked, then this is when you can use as much force as needed, but not excessive, to remove the child or the animal from the vehicle. And then the last thing is that you're supposed to remain with them until um, first responders arrive, whether it's paramedics, um, animal control, police, whatever the situation is. So that's going to help protect you um, from the civil liabilities issues that may occur in a situation like this. The next law that is going to affect um, some people, maybe more than others, is going to have to deal with your license plate. So some people have been working to avoid the photo radar by putting um, specific type of covers on their license plates. Well, this has not only kept the photo radar from being able to get photos of it, it's kept law enforcement at certain angles from being able to see license plates. So this is no longer going to be allowed. It is going to be illegal to have that on there. Um, I also saw where they mentioned things about electronic devices that do the same thing. I don't exactly know what that is, but if there is an electronic device on your license plate that keeps it from being seen at certain angles, then this too would be um, illegal under the law. So you would be looking at fines. The last thing that I just want to touch on that might be a big thing for people has to do with prescription laws. So under very, very specific circumstances, non-controlled prescriptions may be temporarily refill, refilled. So like for seven to 30 days, depending, um, without a actual prescription. So if you have a prescription that you've been getting from the pharmacy, you go to that same pharmacy, you've had it for like over 12 months, um, and maybe let's say your doctor left town and you've got an appointment to get a new doctor, but it's going to be a week and you need that prescription because it's a heart prescription, it's a, a diabetic prescription, something that's going to cause you health concerns if you don't have it, then the pharmacy can make the judgment call on whether or not they're going to do a temporary fill of that, even though you may have an expired prescription or no fills specifically put on there. They'll make that call um, after they go through the whole list of things that they have to do in that situation, and they may then be able to fill it for you. There are a lot of other laws going to affect. There's laws that are going to affect education. Um, there's laws affecting elections, things like that. I'm going to link some of the stories I found with this video just so that you can do a little bit of research yourself, see some of the laws and some of the changes that are going to be happening. One of the big laws that got signed in that is not going to go into effect until the beginning of the year will deal with insurances and out of cost um, fees. For example, you go to the hospital and you have a surgery and all of a sudden everything you thought was in network 
you've got some random out of network charge from a doctor that showed up to the surgery or something like that, there's a new law that's going to be put in place to help address some of these issues. And we're gonna do a video specifically on that as soon as it gets a little closer time for time for that to go into effect. All right, well, I hope this helped a little bit, give you a little information on what's going on. Um, look through the links, look through the news, see some of the changes that are coming up, and have a great week. Bye.